Hey everyone, this is Valentin from musicgreatness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn Chemical Coincidence by Jordan Raquet. And it sounds just like this. Alright guys, so in this first part, we are going to learn the introduction and the verse. We are in the key of A major. So we have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Here are the chords. We start on C6. So we have octave C on the left and E A on the right. Then we'll play major 7 over A. So we have A, D on the left and A, C sharp on the right. And the last chord will be this A major 7. So we have A, E on the left hand and G sharp, C sharp on the right. And that's all. There are only three chords. So let's recap together. We start on C6. Then we play this D major 7 over A. So here we are on the fourth degree of the scale. And we go back to the first degree playing this A major 7. Just like that. Very nice. Okay, so this piece is played in a quite unusual way, at least in this first part, because we'll count two measures of four beats and one measure of six beats. It would go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's find a way to make it easier to count while we play. We'll count the first two measures as usual. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, which is really not comfortable, we'll subdivide this last measure into one measure of two bits and another one of four bits, like a normal one. So the whole thing would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And that's all. So we'll count this way. Okay, so now let's learn the first pattern. It goes like this. So we start by playing this C6. All the notes together. And then we'll play E A, which will be our first element, and then the top C on the left hand. And we'll play between those two, like this. So with the counts, it would sound like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Once again together, a little bit quicker. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. Very nice. And then we'll play the bass again and we'll repeat this pattern. One, two, three, four. Very nice. And that's our first two measures. So let's play it from the top. One, two, three, four. Four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. 
So here is our 2 beats measure. We'll play the D major 7 over A and we repeat the notes of the right hand on the second beat. So it goes 1, 2 and then we just go and play this A major 7. One, two, three, four. The same way we've played the first pattern on the C6. And that's all there is to this first part. So let's count together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Once again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Very nice, guys. Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.